Welcome to today's video. Have you ever looked up at the sky and noticed those towering giant clouds that seem to stretch endlessly into the heavens? They might look majestic and beautiful, but don't be fooled. These are cumulonimbus clouds, and they are among the most dangerous weather phenomena on our planet. In this video, we'll explore why cumulonimbus clouds are so dangerous, how they form, the science behind their destructive power, and the impact they have on aviation, climate, and our daily lives. Stick with me until the end, because you'll never look at a thundercloud the same way again. What are cumulonimbus clouds? Cumulonimbus clouds are often called thunderstorm clouds. They are dense, towering vertical clouds that can reach up to 12 to 20 kilometers into the atmosphere. To give you perspective, that's higher than the cruising altitude of most passenger airplanes. Their base can start as low as 500 meters, and their tops can extend all the way into the stratosphere. These clouds form when warm, moist air rises rapidly into the atmosphere. As the air rises, it cools and condenses, creating a towering cloud. If the conditions are unstable, the cloud continues to grow vertically, feeding on the energy of the atmosphere. This is how a simple cumulus cloud transforms into a powerful cumulonimbus. The science of their power. So, why are they so powerful? The secret lies in convection and latent heat. When water vapor condenses into liquid droplets, it releases energy. This energy fuels the updraft inside the cloud, allowing it to grow taller and stronger. A mature cumulonimbus has powerful updrafts that can reach speeds of over 160 kilometers per hour. At the same time, Downdrafts bring cold air rushing downward. The collision of these air currents inside the cloud creates turbulence, lightning, hail, and even tornadoes. In fact, a single cumulonimbus cloud can release energy equivalent to several nuclear bombs. Yes, you heard that right nature's power, packed into a storm cloud. The dangers of lightning. One of the most well-known dangers of cumulonimbus clouds is lightning. These clouds are essentially massive electrical generators. As ice particles and water droplets collide inside the cloud, they create an electric charge separation. The top of the cloud becomes positively charged, while the bottom becomes negatively charged. Eventually, the difference in charge becomes so great that the electricity discharges as lightning. Lightning can strike the ground, hitting buildings, forests, and people. Every year, thousands of wildfires and hundreds of fatalities are caused by lightning alone. But that's not all. Lightning can also strike airplanes flying near or through cumulonimbus clouds making them incredibly dangerous for aviation. Severe Weather Phenomena Cumulonimbus clouds are the birthplace of extreme weather events. For example, tornadoes. Under the right conditions, rotating cumulonimbus clouds known as supercells can spawn violent tornadoes with winds exceeding 300 kilometers per hour. Hailstorms. Within the strong updrafts, water droplets are carried up and down repeatedly, freezing into large hailstones before crashing to the ground, damaging crops, cars, and buildings. Flash floods. These clouds can release massive amounts of rain in a short time, overwhelming rivers and drainage systems. Microbursts. Sudden downdrafts of cold air can slam into the ground spreading outward with hurricane-like force, causing destruction to everything in their path. All of these phenomena come from the same source, the cumulonimbus. Aviation and cumulonimbus clouds. 
For pilots, cumulonimbus clouds are a nightmare. Airplanes are designed to withstand turbulence, but the extreme conditions inside these clouds make flying through them extremely dangerous. The strong updrafts and downdrafts can toss planes around violently. Lightning can strike aircraft, and hail can damage the fuselage or shatter windshields. Pilots use radar and satellite data to avoid flying near cumulonimbus formations. In fact, aviation accidents throughout history have been linked to encounters with cumulonimbus clouds. That's why avoiding them is a strict rule in aviation safety. Impact on daily life. Even if you're not a pilot, cumulonimbus clouds can affect your daily life. They cause power outages by knocking down power lines with strong winds. They delay flights, disrupt outdoor events, and damage agriculture. Farmers often fear hailstorms because just a few minutes of hail can destroy an entire season's crops. For communities, the heavy rainfall can lead to flash floods, which are among the deadliest natural disasters. In urban areas, poor drainage can turn a heavy cumulonimbus downpour into a flood within minutes. The global role of cumulonimbus clouds. Beyond local dangers, cumulonimbus clouds also play a role in Earth's climate system. They transport heat and moisture from the surface into the upper atmosphere. This process influences weather patterns on a global scale. However, as climate change increases global temperatures, we may see more frequent and more intense cumulonimbus development. This could mean stronger storms, heavier rainfall, and more destructive extreme weather in the future. How to stay safe. So, what can you do to stay safe around cumulonimbus clouds? Always check the weather forecast before outdoor activities. If you hear thunder, seek shelter immediately. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are within range of lightning. Avoid standing under trees or in open fields during storms. For pilots, always rely on radar data and avoid flying into cumulonimbus systems. Preparedness and awareness are key. Cumulonimbus clouds are a reminder of the raw power of nature. They are not just clouds, they are factories of energy capable of producing lightning, hail, floods, and tornadoes. While they inspire awe with their towering beauty, they also demand respect and caution. So next time you see a massive thundercloud on the horizon, remember, it's not just a cloud, it's one of the most dangerous forces in our atmosphere. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the science of weather, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. And let me know in the comments, have you ever experienced a thunderstorm so intense that it left you in awe?